Hey guys, I'm Marlene McKinney and we are getting ready to do some exciting cooking. I just finished my walk, you know, the veggie dance walk. Well, I was literally out here walking and I did about nine miles today. You should join me next time on the beautiful island of the Bahamas. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm putting an ad in for my country. I live in paradise. I live where you vacation. Let's cook. We're doing tacos today. Yes, we've got yummy, delicious, exciting tacos. How many of us love tacos? If you do, don't go nowhere. Lock that dial because we're going to be right back with our tacos, Markel and I. Yum! Guess what? We have an actual guest in our studio today. So you've been asking, how come you're eating all this food by yourself? Today I have help. But my help is not just ordinary help. This is a the help. Hello. This is a the chef. Hello. This is Chef Markel Seymour. And I just asked him, did you learn the veggie dance? And what did you say? Excuse me, ma'am. Tell her. You, you see her laughing at my kitchen? You think this is funny? She got to do the veggie dance. She got to do it. I want to let her do it now. I want to teach her during the break. You saw that chicken? Now, chef, Chef's a little shy. She doesn't want to talk. But well, we can see if we can pull it all out of her. We can get a fishing rod. We can just pull it, pull it, pull it, you know? Or we can go to the dentist and be like, we can do something to get into. But well, we're happy you're here. I hope by now you have subscribed, liked, shared, comment, and ring that bell. Bing! So you can know when we are back on again here at Something Better. Something Better Cooking. Come on. We are waiting to hear from you. We are so happy for all your comments. Oh my goodness, so many of you have commented on our videos. We are truly excited. I've got Joan in New York. We've got Jazzy down in Exumo. We've got Andresa down in Texas. Oh my goodness, listen guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for following us. We love you all very, very much. If I didn't call your name, please don't hate on me. You know I want to call everybody's name, right? Because that's the teacher in me. So as I remember you, I'm going to call you out. I promise I was going to call my friend who will not do the veggie dance in my kitchen. But that's okay. It's okay. Let's cook. Guess what we're cooking today? Yum! Tacos. Yes. Do you like tacos? I had some last week in my kitchen. If you missed Taco Wednesday at Something Better, you can't miss it this Wednesday. It is that good. The comments came in. What were the comments? This was the best vegan taco I've ever had. You heard that? She got to shout it. It was the best vegan taco he has ever had. Not just one, not just two. We got comments all over. Everyone was like, this is really, really good. So I had to bring her in because... I have to be honest with you, I don't know the first thing about tacos. I'm a piece of rice girl. I'm a Bahamian. But you know when I travel down to Mexico, I'm going to bring my Mexican out because I love me some hola espanol, you know? Como estas? Yeah. So I, I had the tacos then, but Marca's going to help me. I'm going to help her. I'm her assistant today. So you're learning from the best. So welcome, Markel. I didn't talk enough. This is a long introduction. This girl could yap her mouth. Miss Carla said she's watching Marlene's movie. But anyway, <laughs> you guys who just enjoy watching me being a crazy girl in the kitchen, I am loving you all. Ostia, yes, all of you. I remember your names. I'm going to call you out. So what are we doing first? So we have some tortilla, right? And I bought the whole wheat tortillas because we're supposed to be eating healthier, right? Yep, yum. So that's the tortillas. It's just... um. Taco shells. It's, it's simple, right? And this is the flour one. So, of course, the flour whole wheat would have more fiber than the white. But for those who can tolerate the whole wheat, then I would say go with the whole wheat. All right. So, what we do first? I'm gonna spray the pan. We gotta spray the pan. I'm our assistant. I'm just gonna do what she tell me to do. Spray the pan. We have a little healthy little uh, whole harvest thing going on here. Maybe they'll give us an ad one day, you know, and they'll pay for the show. Hello. So we get toast the tacos. Yeah, we gotta toast them because they don't taste so good, eh? No, I have to toast them. Yeah, they got to taste good. So we put them in, um, in the frying pan. And I hope you can see it. Yes, you can. Good. And how long will we do that for? One minute on each side. One minute on each side. Who's two, who has a timer? <laughs> hey, Siri. <laughs> okay, so we just have about a minute. And then we, uh, one minute on each side. Oh, cool. All right. We can make chips out of these too, though. Yes, it tastes really good. Put a little salt on there. Put olive oil, bake it, or fry it. Mmm, really good. I know, and we can put it in a little dip. 
A little cheese dip like the one we made last, last week. week. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And so we're introducing you today to um, a garden product. So we're not, we're not doing just a vegetable taco or a sweet potato taco like my friend down there in, in, in the South. What's her name again? Tabitha. Tabitha Brown. I love that girl too. She's my <laughs> sister. So we're doing actual meat. It's not ground beef. Let me bring it closer so y'all can see. I'm advertising for Gardein. Let them know. They may pay for this too. So I love it. I love it. It's beefless grounds and I really, 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 really love it. Okay. So once we get through doing our, our shells, then we are going to, you know, yeah, we're going to cook up some groundless, groundless, hey, groundless beef. Not ground beef. It's groundless beef. Hello. I love it. So they're looking good. I feel like just biting on one of them right now. You know, I'm a bread girl. Y'all know, right? I'm, if you're a Bahamian, you love bread. If you're a woman, you love bread. <laughs> now, if you're, not a, if you're a woman and you don't like bread, <laughs> something wrong. Because <laughs> it's comfort food, isn't it? It tastes really good. So yeah, I like it. I got toast it because I have a little. It has a little tendency to have a little bitter taste if it doesn't have that toasted. If raw. Yeah, if it's raw, and it's not raw. It's just that I think they leave it a little undercooked so they can you can do whatever you want to do with it. Okay, it's not designed to just eat just like that. They're looking good. All right, so great. So we put them aside and we just get started with our actual cooking. We gonna pretend they good. <laughs> but Mark, I'm making sure they cook. Look at that one. There's a little pocket in there. I wish you guys could see that. Mm. Let's see if you can see that. That's a little, um, yeah, look at that. Got a little belly going on there. It's pregnant. <laughs> it's pregnant. Hello. Pregnant with ideas. Someone said, your face is just glowing. I said, yeah, it ain't pregnant. Because I tell y'all, it'll be like, ooh, ooh, she be. Sarah, this ain't no Sarah up in here. Mm -mm. You glowing, girl. You glowing like you pregnant. Mm -mm. The devil is a liar. <laughs> okay, awesome. So then we get into the actual cooking. This is four phases. We got four things to do. All right, so we, do we need a little coconut oil or water to saute our vegetables? Coconut. You know, coconut oil is my go-to. I just gotta find it in my junky cupboard here. Mm, I hope that's coconut oil. <laughs> let me check, let me check, let me check. Let me see, because I'm supposed to have a bigger container. I found the real one. There you go, so that's coconut oil. Well, I'll let Chef Mark kill. How much did I put? You're gonna do the actual cooking. <laughs> One tablespoon. One tablespoon of oil. Hmm. That's, I, I measured it. One <laughs> tablespoon. Maybe a little bit more, but it's going to taste better. Now, for my sister down, Angela, and Angela down in Germany, she's going to tell me, Marlene, it's too much oil. So, <laughs> I, I'm not going to eat any Angie, I promise. I'm just going to do a little taste. She said, use water. And we don't have to use oil. We could use water. water. That's a fact. Okay. So, in this part of the recipe, what are we using? Onions and garlic? Onions, garlic, onions. Cilantro. All right, cool. And those flavors are gonna be great. That's fine. Yeah. So we don't need no bell peppers. If we think about Mark, you know, I'm thinking about Mark. Oh, poor Mark. Mark is gonna be so upset when he had to. Yeah, mind you, didn't put no bell peppers in there. You know. He said, "Y'all don't like me very much." <laughs> All right. So we put those in there. You wait till it gets a little hot. Yes. Okay. Cool. I am not that old. Ain't no more mama in here. All right, you want this spoon or this spoon? This one. Or this spoon? Hey. <laughs> All right. It already smells good in here. You know we have a guest sitting behind the camera? She says she's shy. We're going to call her in a minute, little Joanne. Mm -hmm. Yup. I'm going to wash while Mark will do that because, you know, I am a person I like to clean as I go, right? I wash as she's doing that. I like some curry. Some garlic at all. My girl like to leave things at all. <laughs> at all the garlic, good stuff. That fire is high. <laughs> good stuff. Let's turn it down. Let me turn it down just a little. Okay, good. I'm washing. I know it smells so good. Eh? It smells divine. Awesome. I'm gonna add, add the meat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Add the meat. So our meat is groundless. If you're just joining us. We are making tacos. If you just happen to just joining us at this late stage in the game, we don't mind, mind you. We're doing tacos and we're using Gardein groundless beef. Now you can choose to use whatever groundless beef you can find, but you know, it could be a morning star, Gardein, or you could just choose to put vegetables in there or beans. Beans are great too. Black beans taste awesome. Awesome. 
cinnamon tacos. You know, some people do refried brain, bean, brain. <laughs> whatever you want to do. All right, I just threw that in the garbage. I just took it and threw it in the garbage. Okay, great. And what else do we do? Do you let it cook down a little? Yes. About how long would you let it cook? About two minutes. About two minutes. Do you want to cover it so it can sweat a little, or it's fine just leaving it just like that? You can leave it just like that. So it's most, it's kind of a dry thing. Yes. And you can use this meat otherwise. You can use it for what else? Quesadillas. Wraps. Quesadillas, wraps. Oh. Meatballs. Meatballs. Beef penne. Beef penne. Mm -hmm. That's our favorite, eh? Beef penne is our favorite. You should try that when we do that again. We'll write something better. Maybe we'll do that next week or whenever Markel I can get her back in the kitchen. I don't want to take up all her off days. But we can probably do a little beef penne. Beef penne is off the chains, guys. It's, listen to me. Sabaro so ain't got nothing on beef penne. <laughs> Vegan style. Something better. Not at all. It's really good. People keep asking for it. Let's put that away. You know, I put away as I go. I clean as I go. That's just me. Y'all gonna be hating on me. So we have some sauce. So you can get like any kind of plant-based sauce. Sauces that have no animal products in there. So you have a cup of sauce. Just a little, you know, just a cup of sauce. You want some water? All right. How much water? How much water do we need? That enough? Pour it in. I'm making sure I do this right. That in case I might be on it. That was just a taste of last week, okay? We need more water. About half a cup of water because just now I added like a quarter cup. I'll go until you tell me to stop. That's good. No more. No mas. No mas because we're in Spanish country now. Hola. Que pasa? Como estas? Muy bien. I'm going to ask you all my questions. I must be local. What's going on with this crazy girl? Okay, good. That was really good. Can you see that? I hope you can. I'll pick up some seeds. You can see. You can see. Oh. All right, so then now we're gonna season it because we want it to taste good. And in the Bahamas, we we like taste, like we eat for taste. We should eat for health, and we're doing both here. But we eat for taste. If it don't taste like, if it don't taste right, then coming back. <laughs> and then I have asked for it again. So this is already in demand for our next Wednesday at something better. So we actually get the head start cooking it here. If it lasts until then, mm -hmm. that's the key. So, you know who's my sidekick yet? Kayan. Kayan! So, you know, we need that sidekick. You know, she does that boxing. Because you want to be all soon. <laughs> so, we have to add some sidekick. And this is not, even though it's in the container that you get from the food store, this is not 40,000. What you're getting at the food store is 40,000 units. This is 90,000 feet units. Which means that. This is really, really hot, okay? So I'm using 90,000 degrees cayenne. It's great for upper respiratory problems, circulatory problems, um, great for the blood. It can prevent a heart attack. It can prevent a stroke. If you have somebody, you know, I remember I was teaching a class in Texas at my sister's location. And let me tell you what happened. I'm teaching the class. Too I'm teaching the class and one of the ladies at the class she said may I borrow your cayenne and I was like okay I don't know what she wanted the cayenne for I just said okay so I set the cayenne down I gave it a container now that was just a 40,000 unit and then after the class she came and she said my husband was having a, a stroke I said okay and what did you do with the cayenne I put it on his tongue and subling sublingually all right did I get that right <laughs> it's sublingual and it just got right into the bloodstream, and guess what? The heart attack ran away. Now, I'm not telling you you could. You can do it at home, but still go on over to the hospital. Now, she did not take her husband to the hospital, and he lived <laughs> another 10 years, okay? <laughs> he did not have any more heart attacks. And every time he would have some kind of a symptoms of having a heart attack, she just put it on the tongue, and that's it. That's all you need. So, there you go. Put that 90,000 units up in there. Do we add this yet? We got some cilantro, we can put that in there too. Do we add that yet? Not yet, we can add it. Yeah, let's add that in there. And I'm gonna be the one to put it in because Margaret's gonna leave something behind. I don't like to leave nothing behind. Do we need more water? No, not right now. Okay, great. So we add some, some of my sidekick. Hello. I love me some cayenne. 
not too hot, but you know, you want it to taste spicy. You know, we are spicy. We are from the Bahamas. Or I'm adding seasoning. Oh, do we need to, you want to add some of that? Let's add a little top. We're going to cheat a little. All right, let's see if I can find it. Hello, y'all know my kitchen. This, this cupboard be all, my, it's all deep in the woods somewhere. Hmm. Let's see if I can find that. Let's see if I can find that. Okay, Markel, take it away. Tell them something, because I can't find it. <laughs> oh, hey there. What did I do with it? Hmm. Hmm. Ah. She was hiding. She was hiding. So we're going to add a little of that. We're going to cheat a little. You don't have to. You can just add salt and pepper, a little um, cornstarch. Because um, that's basically the ingredients in there. Or mix your own seasoning. Or mix your own. That's what we really should be doing. But we're going to cheat a little and add just a little of that in there. To give it a nice, uh, a little kick, you know, a little flavor. Okay, awesome. You can't add the whole thing now, because we already added salt. Yeah, so we're just going to add a little, see? Yeah. Just a little. Because we added salt and we added pepper. We're not going to add all of it, just going to add a little of it. All right? That's it? I know I'm going to taste, right? Mm -hmm. I'm the taster. Let's get my plate. You'd swear I'm going to have all of it. Now I'm going to get my plate. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> this girl, she is just such a foodie. I am a foodie. I am. Let's taste it. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see if it's there yet. <laughs> no, I need some chocolate. <laughs> Woo! It's nice and flavorful, though. Yeah, I need some of that. Mm -hmm. Cup of half. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, yum okay so we cheat a little so what's in here is just chili peppers that's what's in there chili peppers cornstarch salt onion powder and sea salt and then it's other little spices so we like to kind of be careful of all the seasons we use to make sure that it's on track for our vegetarians and plant-based um persons all right so good so we have our our meat okay i don't have a taste again because it was pretty good just now I'm gonna wait to have the whole thing. I saved my belly. You know what? I didn't eat anything. I haven't been cheating. Okay, great. So we're gonna set this aside, and when we come back, we will teach you how to do our salsa and our own sour cream. Don't go nowhere. We are looking for you to stay by. Only one problem, you should have been here to try some with us. Next time, you'll be our guest at Something Better cooking. Remember, subscribe, like, share, comment, and ring the bell so you can know when we're back with new recipes for our kitchen. You know, we in Mexico. Maquel, como estas? Hello, como estas? Hola. Hey. <laughs> Are y'all ready for the veggie dance? Uh-huh. Hey. Hello. It's just back and forth. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hola! Hola. We're, back. we're back! We're back! We're back, Markel! We are ready to have some yummy tacos! Y'all know I like to do foolishness in the kitchen already, right? <laughs> Y'all that know Sister Marty ain't crazy. I don't want to mess up my hair just yet. But that's me! Oh my goodness, you're going to mess up my hair. Anyway, I'll put that on when I'm tasting my tacos. Y'all know I had to pull out the Mexican in me, right? I was told I sound like them. Mm -hmm. I was. So we're back and we're going to make the rest of our tacos. So we're ready to get our meat. Now, what are we doing? We're going to make the salsa to put on top of the tacos. Okay, let's do it. So, what's in our salsa? Red onions. Red onions, about a cup full. Well, plus, it's what you have in your kitchen, eh? Just pull it with that. You don't have the exact amount, but. You could use the white onions. So. Oh, you can use the white onions too. I like the red ones. The red are pretty though. Mm -hmm. Yellow onions, red onions, white onions. Mm -hmm. Whatever you got, you use it. Bell peppers. You have to dice it up really small. Yeah, dice them really small. <laughs> hmm, they'll tell you about me. My stuff be big as my head. That's why everything goes in the blender. Because they be telling me about my stuff when I make things. Who cut these onions? I mean, these onions big as my head. Ooh, they be embarrassing me. Okay. Cool. She's learning. <laughs> it's clean. <laughs> Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. <laughs> Dice tomatoes. And I cut them up. Big as my head. Mm -mm -mm. All right. And then we have our cilantro. So if, is it fair to say we have like a cup full of each of those? Yes, ma'am. About a cup. And then we have our cilantro. So it's a cup of each. All right. Are you going to put all that in there? You don't think so. She don't think she want to put all that in there. 
don't know. Quarter cup of cilantro. It's quarter cup of cilantro. So it's one cup of bell peppers, diced, one onion, diced, and tomato. And then a quarter cup of cilantro. So we have a little cilantro. Okay, and what else do we put in, the, in our salsa? So you don't have to buy your salsa anymore. You can make your own at home. That's the beauty of this. Mm -hmm. So just add salt and salt, lemon, and cayenne or cold pepper. Salt, lemon, cayenne, or goat pepper. It's like making a vegetable salad without the conch. Oh, that's right. It's like a conch salad. You know, in the Bahamas, we have this thing called conch salad. Y'all call it conch. <laughs> it's not conch. <laughs> Let me teach you guys how to say it. It's conch. The CH is <laughs> silent. Conch. Not conch salad. So this is like a conch salad. So this is a vegan, like, mock conch salad. I love it. In my fridge, I got something called scallop salad. It's like conch salad. But we made that with something called scallop. It's a vegan substitute that you can purchase in the can. <laughs> vegan in the can, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's kind of redundant, right? But it's true. Okay, let's tip that into the garbage. I'm going to help her. Using one whole lime. One lime, that's enough. That's a lot of juice, though. That's good stuff. Awesome. I like being the helper. <laughs> And then just kind of mix it together. You need some of my sidekick? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. And salt some, and pepper to do. And some ragged island salt. And then you're going to say, what is ragged island salt? Where you get that from, girl? <laughs> my mama island. My mama was born in ragged island. Ragged island. Yes. And there you have it. That's it? Salt Hold salt. on. I got to try that. <laughs> Let's see. Y'all know I like the taste, right? Mm -hmm. I'm the critic. Let's see. So is it hot enough? I think it is. You think so? Let's see. But it's good if it marinades, don't you think? Yeah, it's good. The longer it sits, the longer the fridge is still good. That's good. Mm. That's pretty good. I'll put some more on my kick in there, but hey, to each their own. I don't know, I like a little side kick. Put a heavy dash. Yum. So it has a nice lime taste. The flavors are there. You can taste all the vegetables. And we're going to use this to assemble in our... Uh, tacos today. Awesome. Love it. I'm going to put my spoon there because I'm going back. Okay. So what else do we put in there? Well, Alright, that's it for that. Let's set it aside. So now we're going to make the guacamole. Okay. And then you can make the salsa. Oh, yes. there you go. We can borrow that. Okay. So in our guac, we borrow some of the, some of the salsa. So that's why we need to put it make it that way. We're making, we're making it in the order in which we need them. Right? Good. Now, I'm not a guac girl. I love avocado, but please give it to me whole. Oh, my <laughs> Jesus. Don't give it to me mashed up like baby food. I just don't do baby food. Yep. I don't do baby food. So that seed fell on the ground. Let me get that. Awesome. You heard me? <laughs> all right. So we got all that. So we got a spoon. Let's get a spoon. There we go. So we get all. Good. So we put that along with some of this, and that's it? Yes, Bravo. Oh. and I saw some more salt and lime to the guacamole. Oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. And people buy this? Yes, Why do we do. buy things? Why are we buying everything? What's wrong with us? This age is so lazy. I guess it takes less time. It takes less time. So if you have no time, this is probably not the recipe to do because it's just a little more time involved. But you can always cheat and probably buy the salsa already in the, or the guacamole. I just don't see why. Mm -mm. That's not good. All right, good. Let's put that in the garbage. Let's get rid of that. Awesome. Now, I'm not going to taste that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just not. I'm not. Mm -mm. And then you're going to say, boy, she, mm -mm. no. Mm -mm. So we need some of this. About how much would we need? So that's one little, like, one half tomato, um, uh, avocado. That's the small ones. So, but that's too much. That's enough. That's enough. So that's about a quarter cup. About a quarter cup. Awesome. It's pretty though. Looks really good. Show the camera. That looks really nice. Look at that. That looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. And then you add more cayenne in there, some of my kick. Cayenne. Cayenne and salt and lime. Okay. I may mean, I mean like that. You should hmm. taste it. I should. <laughs> no. You all did not convince me. Hmm. Now you want to a little birdie in the background saying, you gotta try it. Let me try it. Let me see. We got one birdie in the background. Y'all didn't know that, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I may like it. I love avocado. I think avocado is just so smooth and 
here at home, we love it with grits, peas and grits and avocado. Listen to me. Woo, it's yes. like a complete meal, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? When I was growing up, my grandfather had this huge tree in the back of the yard and the avocados were big as my head. Honestly, they were that big. And I'm telling you, so let's try this. This will be my first time trying guacamole. And I trying so much, a lot of mercy. It's all right. It tastes good. <laughs> it's good. I just don't like people mashing my food. Maybe because I'm, it tastes really good though. Maybe because I'm watching her mash it, I'm okay with it. It's really, really good though, guys. It is really good. That, that is really good. So what else? Oh, now it's my time. <laughs> sour cream. So I made our sour cream last week. We got one block of tofu. This is silken. Remember we have different types of tofu? With our silken tofu, the silken tofu is the one that we use for our desserts, right? Or you can use it for things like this. You can make your own, you can make your own sour cream. You can make your own cream cheese, okay? And then we have some almonds or cashews, whichever one you have. I hardly ever buy cashews because unfortunately in the where I live, in the Bahamas, they're kind of costly. So I buy the almonds and they're like six dollars, six sixty-six uh, a pound. And then I'm gonna add some sweetener. So I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of honey. All right. And I like to put away as I go, right? Mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna have Markel squeeze a lime in there. And of course you gotta have some salt, okay? If there's no salt, there's no taste. Okay. And tofu has no taste. All right, good stuff. Think we need more? A whole one. Yeah, a whole one would do great. Let me just blend, and then we're getting ready to actually assemble this baby. Hello, mm -hmm. listen to me. It was so good last week. It was so off the chain. They say. All right, good stuff. I'm the helper. I love being the helper. Put that on there. Good. So we're getting ready to assemble. We're getting ready to actually get to the finish line. Is it tight? There you go. Good stuff. No cayenne. Put it on the, that one. So that's not enough. Let me tell you why. Because those almonds are stubborn. They're not like that. Cream cheese. You see that? You, you see that, right? She don't want to try it. Okay. But I think you can use more lemon because it really has a sweet flavor to it. Does it have a taste of cream cheese? It does. I'm telling you, it tastes like. Does, am, I, am I kidding? No, and Markel is not vegan. You know, she, we have her trying everything at the shop. But it tastes, it has a nice taste of cream cheese. That's how I make my cream cheese. That's a green cheese. This is like a cheesecake for sure. This is the base for my cheesecake. Do you think we need to put more lime in? Oh, soft. Okay. Alright, that's it. But it tastes really good. Honestly, it's really good. Okay, great. I'm excited. You should be excited because you're going to get to see bites in my Time to taste! Hey! I love it! So we got Joanne. We got Joanne in the kitchen to taste with us. Hi, Joanne. Hello. How you doing, darling? I'm awesome. This is Markel's mom. She was sitting behind the camera all this while. <laughs> Hello. Hola. Hola. <laughs> so, we do not own the rights to this music, okay? But we just thought 
Got off some Mexican flair up in here, right? <laughs> so hopefully they don't have a problem with it. We pray. All right, so it's time to taste. Time to taste, time to taste, time to taste. Are you ready? Are you ready? Y'all can play cute all y'all want. Y'all remember I'm a bread lover. Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I want Put those two books of screen. Make sure you mm -hmm. have your napkin or one spoon to put it back up in there. Hold on. Hey, look. I'll put up everything. Let's try it. Because it'd be messy. It's a messy dish. Y'all may need that. <laughs> we can't see Markel. We gotta fix the TV. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's good. Mm. <laughs> She's shocked. You heard that, guys? My first vegan taco. Mm. Wow. Ever. Ever. And? That's awesome. Oh, <laughs> are you saying just because it's Marco? No, mm. it is good. Wow. Your first vegan taco ever. Never, ever tried it. Wow. Well? Wow. That's awesome. Thank you. Even the meatless, groundless, groundless, groundless beefless, whatever that is, meatless. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. We're so happy that you chose to sit and watch us playing like crazy, and watch me playing crazy in the kitchen. And I dragged Sister Joanne here. That's awesome. I'm so glad she likes it. Praise <laughs> God. You did a good job. Wow. Thank you, Chef Markel. Awesome job. Awesome job. <laughs> awesome job. So now you know why they keep coming back because it tasted better at something better. Mm -hmm. Join us for lunch anytime you're in the Bahamas. Or if you're living in the Bahamas, join us for lunch. We're happy to have you. Otherwise, make it yourself. You got the recipe. Go for yourself. Have fun in the kitchen. From our kitchen to yours. Thank you. God bless. Remember, subscribe, like, share, comment, and ring the bell. Bing! So you can know when our next recipe is uploaded to YouTube. Thank you for joining us. Hasta luego. Hasta pronto. Adios. Adios. Tasting the vegan taco for the first time. Okay, it looks like a real taco. <laughs> Smell like a real taco. <laughs> oh, it feels like a real taco. Mm. Not everything on it, you got to walk. Trying to trick you. Trying to trick me. Come on, come on, come on. It tastes like a real taco. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right.